Hello, and welcome to Nameless Studio. I'm your host, Tyler. Today we are going to... Blah, 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 blah. Hello, and welcome to Nameless Studio. I'm your host, Tyler. Today we are going to continue working on our Miracle Man logo piece. But before we get started, I'm sure you notice that there is a bright pink wall behind me instead of the usual bits of art and uh, action figures. Um, this is because it was brought to my attention that my backdrop might have felt uh, a little dated. And of course, what feels less dated than hot pink. That being a joke. Uh, no, this is not the final stage of this backdrop. This is a work in progress, and if you'd like to see how it continues, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to this channel to uh, see how things progress. And with that in mind, let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start off with a area that's been taped off to reinforce um, where that second M is. And we are going to take um, the sort of homemade transfer paper that we made last time, um, that we did with the tracing paper and the um, red um, corner colored pencils, and we are going to sort of um, create a lot of line elements um, to reinforce and mimic that second M in Miracle Man. So in doing this, you notice that I had left um, one side of that sort of untaped, um, but you also notice that not a lot of that red tonation has been uh, colored in over in that spot. So we're actually going to get a very interesting line element um, going on over there. Um, that I'll talk to once we are able talk about once we're able to see it. But for now, um, we're just going to go and do that always tedious task of drawing individual lines very close together uh, over and over and over again. Skip past it, get to see our product here. So we have this uh, nice sort of imagery happening here that. Um, shows this sort of red feeding down into the base of the other M and the overall structure of the piece. So it kind of gives this almost like building sort of structural elements um, in play um, to help reinforce that constructed superhero um, that we are paying homage to with this piece. Um, and now I'm just going to enforce um, some of these elements with a little bit of black transfer paper just so we have a little bit more division between the two M's so that they actually read as two separate uh, entities rather than a continuation of a singular M. So just going over while it's taped so I have nice clean lines and doing those aspects there. So we're going over the sort of uh, angles of the M there, and then going into the little middle part um, to reinforce that M section as well. So, and then I'm just going to take a little bit of an exact knife and clean up some of that inner area there to make it more noticeable that that is indeed the center of an M. So while I'm doing that, if you want to take a look kind of at that left top edge um, with those red lines that now read um, very uneven, very unsymmetrical. Um, they're meant to kind of look like uh, voice patterning uh, because Miracle Man as a character um, basically calling forth his clone super body from this pocket dimension, he does so with a code word. Um, that code word being uh, Kimota, which is phonetically atomic, spelt backwards. K-I-M-O-T-A. Komota. He speaks this word and boom, he is instantly transformed um, into his other self, Miracle Man. So that is why we have those sort of almost like uh, voice sort of uh, line elements in play on that side there to read as sort of him, him speaking his code words in order to change into said character. Now, if you just saw, we created another little bit of uh, transfer paper material while I was talking about that, and this time in yellow. There are 
just a little bit of a yellow element towards that bottom left where I'm currently taping off that feels a little empty. So I want to reinforce that with some more yellow. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to just do um, some, some say, neocolor washes. Um, I want to give a lot more texture and weight. And the other thing about this character is he does come off as sort of godlike, almost has a bit of an aura to them. Um, you know, almost like how in Renaissance paintings you have the 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 bolts of light coming out from from either a saint or a god's head um, in those scenarios. So what we're going to do here is kind of do a radial line effect um, down from that circle to give it a little bit more sort of potence um, and a, a sense of that sort of light aura that you can see both in the comic strip and in sort of other artistic interpretations of uh, sort of higher beings. So this is a little bit more difficult because I got to focus on a central point while rotating um, my straight edge. So got to be a little bit more careful about how I'm moving um, that straight edge in order to get that nice radial effect. And seeing here the radial effect looks pretty nice. But at the same time, uh, the actual point of adding more yellow into that little groove isn't quite as strong as I was hoping. So we are still going to go in with some of that neocolor pastel and sort of uh, brighten that area up just a little bit more. I do like the effect that the transfer paper gave us. Um, and we're going to add a little bit more um, to the top edge here just because Whenever you do put an element into a piece of art, you want to have it in there at least twice, if not three times. Um, if you only have it in there once, it can be construed as either a mistake or something that uh, really shouldn't be there. Um, the rule of two, to a certain degree. Um, if you do something once, you should do it twice. And it also reinforces in this scenario the idea of a copy. Um, having multiple elements sort of repeated in a way to reinforce that there, there are sort of two entities in play here. But mostly for this one, it is about the idea of always having certain elements repeated um, so that they don't look uh, out of place in the context of the rest of the piece. So now we have that there, we're going to pull up the tape and we are going to add a little bit of that Neo Pastel um, to that area down there just to brighten it up just a little bit. Since we have so much of this sort of uh, light, almost white blue wash going around uh, the outside of the piece, having that central core of it um, have a little bit more color impact is, is going to really strengthen uh, the overall piece. So we're just taking a little bit of that neo color in there and a little bit of water, so this is water soluble, um, and just sort of brushing it in there to just give a, a nice coat. Um, and because we use color pencil um, for the actual transfer paper aspect of it, um, the, the washing of this will not wash away any of the marks that we've already made. Those marks will stay intact and we're just going to basically sort of do a, almost like a, a, a clear wash of yellow um, to just enforce um, those marks with a little bit more color. So that's what you're seeing here. And then just add a little bit around it to, to again reinforce the idea of an aura. So we have a, a little bit more of that that yellow wash uh, sort of sort of peering out from the the edges um, of this logo. And then just sort of pat it dry to sort of soften the edge just a little bit to again give it that more glowing effect. So that's all for us today. As you can see, we've done a lot um, to inform the narrative of the character itself um, with the details that we put in today. Everything from the vocal register to the golden aura aspects to the general sort of uh, construction of a superhero with all these sort of gritting and lines, almost blueprinting um, of a character.
Tomorrow we're going to finish this piece up um, really by putting on a lot more details that just help um, reinforce the overall composition. So until then, let me know what you think of this new backdrop. Again, it's still a work in progress, so I'd like to know. Does this pink burn your eyes? Does it clash with my skin? Do you prefer the old backdrop that was more pieces of art and uh, action figures? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, be seeing you.